are we gonna do now? Hello everybody and welcome to Beyond the Strange, our Life is Two, Life is Strange life is two. 2, sorry Life is 2, Life is Strange 2 after, sh uh, after show, it feels weird to say after show for a um, video game, but that's that's what it is, you know, I, I, it's because it's like a, it's, it's after play, really, yeah. you know what I mean, like we, we do Bev and Will, we do whatever else, all these other shows, it's like after show, we've watched it, so it's after the show after the game however couldn't be bothered changing the it's like it's a brand now it serves its purpose yeah we've 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 invented the brand of the after show no one has ever we have we're going to copyright that used the words after show or reacts before we invented both the reacts idea and we'll see you if you try to use it yeah thank you i'd like to copyright all the things um, so of course we're here to talk about Life is Strange 2, it's just kicked off, uh, what day did it come out, Tuesday, last, Tuesday, whatever day it was, came out last week either way, don't nod sequel to Life is Strange, the mega hit story about teenage girls, season 2 is about nothing that's like season 1 really at all, so ju jumping off that, we're going to do our overall initial thoughts of what you thought of the first episode called Roads, uh, how you feel about it compared to the first season, how you can feel about it as a solo episode, all that sort of stuff. And then we're going to go through bit by bit and kind of break down the episode, talk about the decisions you made in each different part of the game. Nick, what do you yes. think of the first episode? Um, I think it was good. I didn't think it was particularly great. But then again, lot, the other Life of Strangers took a while to get going in my mind too. You have a you have a bit of an interesting history of that, though, I suppose, because you. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but you prefer. Uh, do you prefer the Beyond at this point? I prefer like, Beyond the uh, Beyond uh, Before the Storm. Before. Before, sorry, yes, yeah, before. Yeah. Um, I've actually, after, like, separated from the first season and Before the Storm, I think I prefer Before the Storm as well, which yeah. is weird. Not not saying I, that. I, I, I guess I thought Max was a bit too bland of a character. I mean, yeah, I suppose, but it's it's like everyone, you just like Chloe a bit more by the time you get yeah. around, around to it, you just get a bit more Chloe. Um, but obviously the big thing there is Before the Storm is made by a completely different developer. It is. This is the first sequel we've had since uh, the first season, so it's interesting. Um, I, th I thought the, the, the first episode was really, really strong. I can't remember the exact score I gave it, I probably should have checked, but it was like a 8 or a 8.5 somewhere also. between 1 and 10 it was somewhere between 1 and 10 that that is correct but i thought it was really really good and i think that they come out swinging and mm. we'll get into it a bit a bit more as we cover certain areas of the the first episode but i think they they don't really try and hide uh the thematic elements that they're going to be tackling with this season no, whereas definitely not you know the, the first season and that's not to say that the first season doesn't try tackle big issues and st stuff but it is very much about mental health type stuff yeah there's and no subtlety with this yeah there's this is like we are political age we're tackling trump's america that's that's yeah. basically what it is it's like life is strange to trump's america the game let's like from from the perspective of supernatural uh kids I suppose. Yeah. I, I, I don't know how you go about it. Um, but I, I thought it was a strong episode. I, I also, it was, took me, I'd say it's like three hours or a bit above, a bit longer, between three to four yeah, hours. It, it felt like it was playing, it was taking a while, especially when the parts that I felt dragged on a little bit. So it kind of, I think, felt longer for me. Hmm. Well, actually, let's talk about that now before, because it happens a few times throughout the episodes. How do you feel? And I mean, this is, in all the Life is Strange games, they have those moments where you'll stop, you'll interact with something, and the camera will start, you know, panning around. It's like, yeah. look at the beautiful scenery, here's some music, Listen this is great. Music, yeah. But you can back out of them as soon yeah. as you want. This game, compared to the other ones, has moments that are just straight up. You can't skip them, you can't do everything. It's just, here, we're going we're gonna, to... Yeah. You know, like when they're first walking along the road, for instance, yeah. it's like 30 seconds or so of just build up stuff and you can't skip it and they do that several times in different places and scenarios i feel like it's them just trying to 
build and pull you into the world as much as possible. Maybe even just be like, you know, those relaxing moments where you have a choice to either relax and enjoy the, the scenery yeah. and just take a breather as you're playing the game. They're kind of just forcing you as the player to go, holy shit, something just big fucking yeah. crazy happened. Take How about... Like Donna, yeah. Yeah, just relax for a second. Let's just have breather. Your dad just died. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like you're on the run. Just... We'll saw and spoilers by the way yeah i mean if you're watching an after show i'd i'd i'd, I'd never feel it necessary to say spoilers for something that has after as in after you've played it or after you've watched it to say spoiler warning because it just seems hey, a bit silly people people be crazy yeah you never know all right let's um let's jump into the first uh scene right so the game opens at uh, 1452 Lame Avenue, which I, when, when you look in the chapter selection, I was like, okay, so he lives in a street <laughs> called Lame. Oh, there you go. That's, that's an interesting place to live. So that's Seattle. We get our introduction to the characters, which are Sean, Daniel, um, his, his dad, of course, you meet up with, uh, you get introduced to a bunch of other sub characters in the background. You don't really get to interact with as well, including no. his friends, his friend group. Uh, you get to interact with Lyle a bit. Uh, you get introduced like the girl he likes, but you, you only really see her Facebook profile picture at one yeah. stage. Even though the, pro the what I found interesting is the Facebook profile picture. They don't. It's just like a scrap drawing. They didn't even try and yeah. like. Well, they did that with the other Life of Strangers too. Like all the web pages were hand drawn. Yeah. As well. Maybe, but I suppose maybe at the time I thought it was just because of a technology. Yeah. issue but i suppose i'm just like okay you're just keeping it as a stylistic yeah, choice at this like, point it's not yeah it's not really for for any other purpose um and i i like the characters straight away they seem to me you know sean just seems like a typical teenage kid stereotypical teenage kid and I, and I think that's kind of important to develop with because the first scene could take you an hour i reckon it took me yeah. about 40 something minutes could have done yeah, it faster. Going around, what can i click on can i click yeah. on this click yeah. on this can I click on this yeah i reckon if you're one of those people that just wants to rush through the story though you can probably be out of this section in under half an hour like 20 minutes yeah. probably or something like that but yeah i think i was up to like 45 minutes before i even moved on yeah because same as you it's like what make sure i can click on everything what's important read the thing fuck around do the drawing which yeah. took me ages to figure out because oh that <sighs> Yeah, they that, really need to change that for the next episode. Yeah, I don't know how it controls because you played on PC, right? Yeah, so, oh, I it, use the Xbox controller, so okay, so probably controls yeah. the same, just flicking the analog stick backwards and forwards. Yeah, I was like, what am I doing? Because like this, I thought it'd be kind of like um, oh, like in the Warriors on PS2 when you were graffitiing, you had to, like trace an outline and it would which made sense. Yeah, yeah, you're like you can understand what you're doing in this. It, yeah. I literally had no idea what the fuck nah. I was even doing. It's just like I'm, I literally just started like rotating and flicking up and down like yeah. in a full 100 degree direction around the controller and then when something started happening i'd flick it up and down the same spot until <laughs> nothing happened and then slightly start going around the controller again because i was like i don't know what the fuck i'm doing but either way i wanted to i wanted to complete the uh the the, the picture and i didn't think it added anything like it, it it developed him as like an artistic drawer but i guess you get that from the journal anyway i don't think it added anything to it just something to do throughout the episode. Yeah, I guess. Uh, I don't think it was needed. Though. Another, it, I would say it would be a cool, relaxing thing to do, to break up the main game play, play elements yeah. if it was fun slash relaxing to do. However, yeah. I found it tedious and annoying to do, which means oh, yeah. if it's purpose... Did, after this one, I didn't even bother to go looking for others. The, the only other one I found is in the hotel later. I could okay. sit down in a chair there and, and do the room, which I did because I really wanted to see how the picture of um, his brother on the bed with the dog would turn out. Yeah. So I, I completed that one, but but otherwise, the rest of the episodes, I'll skip them if I don't think the pictures <laughs> are going to turn out cool. Apart from, do you've got to start one in every episode for a trophy, but other than that, that's, oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Um, for those people. For those that care, yes. Which, come on, more, more than me, more than me. Come on now. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, you get introduced to his family, all sorts of... You can interact with a few things around the house. Gameplay-wise, I think the... One thing that stands out to me straight away when you play this first episode, and um, it's basically was my thoughts on Captain Strange as well, is that you can tell that the the engine's improved. There's, mm. there's improvements here. And the number one thing that I love and stands out to me so much is the fact you can be talking to people and still moving around and interacting. Yeah, You don't 
click talk to someone and you get stuck in a back forth conversation. Yeah, like the a full F4 over the shoulder thing. Yes, back forth, back forth. Yeah. Back forth, back forth. yeah it's yeah. like as soon as you go down and you start talking to your, your dad in the shed there. Yeah, you, you're walking around the... Yeah. yeah. And you press whatever button on console. I think on PlayStation, it's like R1. You know, it's like press R1 to bring up the conversation wheel while you're walking yeah. around and, and interact with stuff. Because it just makes it feel more alive, Fluid. real... Yeah. it just it's not because w- in real life when you're having conversations with people yes sometimes you do literally just stand there backwards and forth yeah you don't all the time though <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know so you, well, especially as a kid that's only like kind of half interested like a, oh god i'm gonna help dad with the car yeah, help dad with the freaking what's yeah. what wrench does he what was what, what yeah. it 16 millimeters half inch mm. get out of here mate don't know what you're talking about stop stop shit chatting over there um so Anything you want to cover before we move on to the the big police event? I'm a bit upset I didn't get to go to the party. Yeah, I know. It's... <laughs> but once again, I feel like they just do that to, you know, make what happens. Yeah. Because yeah. they introduce him. He's such a normal teenage kid. He's just yeah. planning for this party. He's might be getting laid. We don't know. Like, yeah. <laughs> like who knows what's happening? Um, and um, it's not... Oh, okay. Go ahead, I was about to say, and it's also makes it all the more eventful because, you know, when I had my conversation with, and we'll get to choices uh, a little bit, but when I had my conversation with dad downstairs, you know, we asked about the party and I'm like, you know, this yeah, we're drinking, might be a bit yeah. of weed, but I just told him the truth and he's like, well, thanks for telling me the truth. Here's 40 bucks or 50 bucks or whatever he gave me. And I was like, yeah. fuck my dad's cool. Like, yeah. he's just like, be careful, but thanks for telling the truth. Yeah, I know what he, kids are like, here's some money. Go have a good time. You know? Yeah, I liked him. I, th- I thought he was very likable. Yeah. And they make you, make him very likable. And then yeah. <laughs> they, <laughs> they rip him, rip him away from me. I think one other element to go for the, the police shop and everything is, um, so I also liked when he talked to Daniel inside of his room and after you have the whole conversation choice, it gives you, it gives you control of the character back for a split second there. I don't know if you noticed. He like opens his door for a couple seconds and lo- like looks out and then slams it again. So it's no, like I a sudden, su- yeah, it's like you could walk away straight away, but I stood there for a couple seconds and yeah. you like opened the door and was like, oh, you're still here. And they like slammed the door <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's a nice little detail. Um, so they, they do build up and show um, basically elements of, I'd say racism uh, mm-hmm. or like Trump's America in the background that you may or may not find, you may or may not find as you're uh, building up to, to the end here, if you go through his phone. Yeah. I, I noticed that straight away. Yeah. That's where I was like onto it straight away. It's like, we, we know what direction this is kind of going. If you've watched the trailers, everything, it's like, it all makes sense. If you look through the, the phone though, you can flick back. I didn't even go to the top cause it was ages and ages and ages. Oh, I, started, yeah, I read it all. Oh really? I scrolled yeah. for like 30 seconds. I was like, okay, I don't know if this is going to end anytime soon, but the, the part that stood out to me obviously was where they're talking about, obviously watching a Trump versus Hillary um, debate on screen and there's a conversation between him and Lila about, you know, he can't really win, can he? Blah, 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 blah. And she's like, no. And then um, Sean's saying that his dad's so upset about it that he even asked him for one of his smokes or, yeah. you know, something along those lines. And they don't name Trump. They don't specifically say, hey, nah. it's Trump. But it's Trump. Like, Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, if you look up the date, it's the same day as the, I think it was the third presidential debate. Yeah, the dates yeah. are, yeah, and it's set in October, which is, uh, that that's the month when the whole grabbing by the pussy and all that sort yeah. of stuff is happening. So this is those debates straight following along from those events, the yeah. hard hitting ones. Um, and then the other thing uh, is that you can find on the bench a letter from the neighbor that he sent him. So oh, that, yeah, about the fence and about the fence. Back or something Yeah, like, and particularly yeah. the line of like, I don't know if you know the American... You know, I don't know if you yeah. know American law, you know, something very on the nose of obviously yeah. the neighbors a little bit racist over there, which makes sense given that it's, you said we meet his kid quite shortly or met his son on the, on the way over home from school. So, yeah. Um, now moving on to the, the big events, so obviously Sean, um, he's playing around his laptop or whatever. Daniel runs outside, presumably as far as I gathered, I mean, he's outside, he's trying to put paint on a shirt or something like that to yeah. bloody it. That's it's all I gathered. Blood or something like that. Yeah. yeah. So I figured maybe they've got like one of those tubes or even if it's a bucket yeah. or something, like he's trying to pour it on a shirt or something yeah. like that. And somehow the kid, the neighbor's kids, obviously he was probably over there looking to cause 
Yeah, fucking fuss, trouble, fuss yeah. anyway. So he's over there, and then D- Daniel a- and a- accidentally gets pain on him, and then next second it's World yeah. War th- Three. Neighbor versus, yeah, neighbor, neighbor versus neighbor. So Sean runs out there, confronts him, um, and I mean, I saw someone. I've seen several topics about this being unrealistic. As far as I'm concerned, this is very realistic. I could see this 110 percent happening. I don't see how it's not realistic. Yeah, I, I don't know. People are like, surely cops don't react that way. I'm like, you're not paying attention oh, to Especially in America. Yeah, I was like, the, we're in America in the heightened Trump period of debates and like high tensions. You know, this is this is Trump going around saying, build the walls, the, you know, the Mexicans are, Mexicans are raping and raping, you know, all that sort of shit. So. Not even that. Even in, he, he sees him punch him out and like he's unconscious and he checks his pulse and he's fucking... Like, well, I mean, it's... Worst case scenario, there is a white kid on yeah. the floor, knocked out. There is two not white kids standing there, yeah. one of which is covered in red, possibly yeah. blood. So yeah. um, you can see how a cop may be like, this is a bit sus. Mm. However, you don't need the cop to shoot anyone, obviously. That's, no. that's where, or even be pointing the gun because yeah. no one has any weapons or anything. No. You know, that's the thing. It's like, why does he have the gun out? I mean, it's a whole different conversation well, that we don't yeah, really yeah, like. Ameri- it, 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 it's strange to ask, but in America, like, they barely get trained, and then possibly anybody has a fucking weapon on them, so they're always on edge all the time. Yeah. And so then, of course, uh, the dad realizes, yeah. runs out, his hands up, you know, just the yeah. kids. The, the kids obviously scared, yeah, crying yeah. out like, trying dad, dad, dad. Trying to defuse the situation. Trying to defuse the situation and makes a. Uh, Thank you, Stacey, for the bits, by the way, in the chat. There was, um, and then the cop shoots him for what, like, he don't, it's, he shoots him, yeah. yeah. And then D- Daniel's powers, which I suppose we gather until this moment, have not awakened, if you want to use the word no. awakened, I suppose. this I'm presuming this is the first time we've, we've seen that sort of thing happen. Yeah. Um, and that's where, <laughs> that's where it all kind of kicks off. What? What do you think about his powers and the usage throughout the, f- the first episode? Because obviously we have this big thing happen here. And yeah. then I understand, I- it kind of makes sense to me that throughout the rest of the episode, Sean is more focused on got to keep my young- younger brother alive. Yeah, got to just focus safe, on, yeah. on that get sort of stuff. There. He's not like, what the fuck was that? Can you yeah. explain to me how that happened? Which I'm sure in his mind, it's at least thinking about it a little bit, but at the same time, yeah. he's just kind of like, another time that really yeah. isn't important yeah i don't have time really. to think about that yeah yeah um um I, th- I thought it was fine it would be interesting to see how they tackle it going forward because you don't have any sort of control over it i guess yeah well that's the interest yeah the other interesting yeah. thing is compared to season one you're playing as the person without the powers you know yeah. it would, it'd be like in season one if he was playing as chloe yeah, and he was friends with Max, or exactly whatever, yeah. and Max was running around. So, I mean, it's a choice of obviously they could have gave Sean the powers and exactly. still had him have to take his little brother and look after him. Yeah, but I feel like they made a choice that I don't think that'd be as interesting. Yes, they yeah. that I, I I think the element is, you know, you you you, sh- you throughout the season you're going to be shaping Sean to either become kind of like a villain or a superhero, basically. Yeah. And, and yeah. I don't mean you're training him to literally run out and fight crime, but yeah, it, it, I reckon by the end of the season, depending on choices you're made, especially when we approach the end of this episode, it's like he could come out of this. We steal shit. We do what we want. I got powers yeah. now. Fucking, you know, turned into a yeah. little shit. Um, remind you of like uh, Traeus from God of War or something, I suppose. Yeah. 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 yeah exactly. Get ego powers happening. Um, all right, so they after this they run on into the or the woods, which they skip ahead like. Yeah, I, I think know. it's two days. It's, it's a couple of days. They skip I, think, ahead. I think it's two days, judging by the messages and stuff. Because I think she goes, "I haven't heard from you for two days" or something like that. Yeah. Um, oh, quick, yeah, quickly before I never forget, let's uh, quickly go over the choices for the first part. Uh, so the, the first, the choices you had was you could have gave the choco cri- cri- choco crisp to Daniel. Dad, or kept it for yourself. I kept it for myself. What'd you do? I gave it to Daniel. Oh, no, I was like, fuck yous. Oh, I was playing it as like, he's annoying, but he's 
I don't know, little brother, I guess. Yeah, I was like, nah, you're too fat, little brother. Can't <laughs> you can't get out of here. <laughs> uh, you lied or told the truth to your dad? Truth. Yeah, I told the truth too. You yeah. hugged or refused to hug your dad? Hug. I'm a hugger. I didn't hug him. But I'm oh. kind of, even though I knew what was happening, I kind of blinked for a moment and I just clicked the answer that as yeah. Sean, I would, you know, it wasn't even mean. It wasn't like, fuck off that. It was like, no, yeah. you can't, whatever he says, like, come here, you know, he says yeah. some word, give your daddy whatever, a hug or something. He's like, no, not when you're saying yeah. that word, which I was like, in character, it makes sense. It's not super me. It's like, like fuck you, dad. I'm not giving you a hug. Yeah. Um, you stole money from the jar. You didn't take any money or you put some money in the jar. I didn't even get the option to put money in the jar. Yeah, I think you have to go back to it after you get the money, though. That's the thing. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, so gotta... I, I originally took the money from the jar and then I put it back. All right. <laughs> yeah. Because in my mind, what, what was happening was like, all oh, right, I'm going to the party. Dad will find out I stole money. He'll be pissed off with me. Yeah. yeah. I, I didn't didn't even click that something like that was going to happen. I didn't even go back to it. The first time I was just like, no, I'm not touching that. I, I, yeah. I don't want to see where that takes me. Um, and then the last choice was you confronted Brett or you questioned Daniel. Confronted. Yeah, confronted Brett. Yeah. Come on. Who, why? Oh, uh, obviously, it plays out the same way, but I wonder what happens if you question Daniel. Do you still get into a fist fight with him? I reckon it still ends up the same. It just means that yeah. Daniel's got a little bit... If they're, if they're in the background, they're kind of building oh, you your, like, your yeah. detrust or trust points for Daniel building up throughout yeah. the season in the background there that we don't know about. That's like certainly a distrust point, I, yeah. uh, I reckon, is going to happen there. So, All right. So, yeah, let's jump into the woods part. So... I don't, not much, not much story wise happens here. I suppose like no, the, I think this whole section could have been cut in half. I reckon easily. Yeah, it's it's one of the this, only areas in the game that that's like super explorey though. I suppose like it's a yeah. big, whatever, you know. But I, in my mind, like it, I didn't. I don't feel like I got enough out of it to warrant how it made me feel like it dragged on. Like this is a, the specific part that's like, all right, come on. I'm done. Move on. Was that like when you're walking through the forest or walking like through the, the forest and just and like getting lost and then building the fort? And it was just, it could have been a cutscene for me or not a cutscene, but like a more condensed version. Mm. I, I agree to a point. I, th I feel like it, you know, it does go on a little bit too long, but I feel like I would have been okay with it if they chucked in a few more optional things that you could stop and fuck around with on the way or, or something yeah. like that because on the as you enter the the bush whatever you know you can interact with a car and steal something you can look at all these these uh the posters the and posters kind of stuff. whatever stuff and you can track those as like a learning thing or, or whatever and then you can choose to pick up and eat the berries uh, and that's it really you know until yeah. you get to the campfire if there were more optional things along the way to interact with to interact with daniel to to point out or have some fun with um then I could see it making more sense to give you options, or you could just choose to run all yeah. the way to the campfire. Um, cause did I you, went, did you sit on the bench with Daniel and where they have the conversation about the wilderness and all that kind of stuff? No, I don't think so. Where okay. was that? Um, it was up near where the berries are. There's like on the cliff face, there's a bench and you sit down with him and they talk a little oh, bit. Yeah. No, I didn't know. I, where the berries are and up that top area where all the park benches are. Yeah. Is that what you mean? Yeah, I didn't yeah. even go there. Um, I didn't go there on my proper playthrough. I didn't know that place existed until I, I was going through to oh, okay. for the, yeah. the secrets later. And I was like, oh yeah, I missed this whole fucking area, but there you go. Well, the, one thing I want to commend it does well is like the paranoia of like losing your kid or something like that. Because you'll turn around and Daniel's gone. You'll be like, Daniel, where are you? And yeah, that's I, one thing it does. I really agree. Well. There was literally one moment where I see when you turn down that path, we turn yeah, left and start going off. down there. Yeah. I ran off a bit too far and I think I left him because I went straight ahead first and then you get to down the end there where it's like all caved yeah, in yeah. the trees and you're like, well, I can't go yeah. this way. I turned around, went down the path, got down the end, jumped over the log or whatever it is by myself. And he, I turned around and he wasn't there. And for, yeah, for a split second, my heart was like, what? what? Yeah. And then I'm clicking like L1 or whatever it is to um, show me where Daniel is. And it's not, it's not showing me where he is. It's not like yeah. highlighting where he is. And I'm like, oh God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, is this a choice like, that you can make in this game? I don't know if this is something you can fuck up. <laughs> especially when you come into it and the car's parked there. And I was like, 
Oh, don't touch the chocolate. There's somebody going to be in here. Is going to yeah, fuck there's with this something. Or something like that. Yeah, it's like it does make you feel. It's funny because obviously the scene plays out very peacefully, and you know the, the nasty stuff happens after yeah. this. But it, you are in the middle of the woods. There is a car there. You do lose him. Like you can lose him for a yeah. moment of time. It does give you that like uneasiness of like what is happening in the scary woods here. But then it all turns out fine. I'll point out one thing here. I thought I thought everything in this forest looked really really beautiful. Oh yeah, it looked great. Um, and they're using their art style to its greatest effect, I think, yeah. like in this forest. And I think that's one of the strongest points with it. It's mm. art direction. Yeah. Because there were, I took several screenshots here. I did several slow pans. You know, I was just... <laughs> so one thing about this area, what, got down to the lake, I'm standing at the lake, like just slow panning around the, the lake. Oh, this is nice and pretty. So that's one thing I'll give this scene. Mm. Nice slow pans. <laughs> um, the... I suppose the other thing that is that at the campfire it's, and the Daniel waking up having the nightmare and all that sort of stuff, it's kind of this. It gives you, because they have like two days before this, this is the third day or whatever. Instead yeah. of making the experience all three days, they give you this one scene of kind of like a character building that on yeah. their own. Because up until this moment, you've briefly interacted with Daniel, but obviously yeah. he's run off and all that sort of stuff. So this scene yeah. is before we introduce bad elements before we introduce any more yeah. characters it's like here's just these two characters sitting yeah. down getting to know each other and you get to see and um, build sean into being what he kind of has to be this leader for his younger yeah. brother and you know it's it's nice even as the the, the scene starts out where he, you know his, his brother's complaining food blah blah blah, blah. Yeah. and you can tell sean's getting cranky to a point because he's like i'm fucking oh, yeah, hungry he... too and like all this sort of stuff but then he realizes that like i've got to be the the, yeah. the the parental figure or whatever you want to call it here and he's you know he starts making jokes and then of course daniel being a kid because because his older brother's being okay and making jokes and not getting angry he's like oh it's fine he's like oh i'm a zombie i'm gonna eat you so yeah i they're getting the old the older brother and the younger brother you know yeah, element the tone of their relationship yeah i think that's what this scene as as, as much as i agree it does kind of drag on i think this scene is just sets up that relationship yeah. i suppose and that's what its entire purpose is um okay so let's move on so after this we head on over to uh a petrol station or whatever they call what are they call in america they call them petrol station. gas station gas station or <laughs> or gotta like get some grass station uh so straight up i knew this was gonna go bad the the moment I walked around, saw those creepy bears and the fucking freaky house that's like right next to it, where I presume the the people that own it stay with the sign that's like "fuck yeah. off." Okay, I'm like, mm 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 mm, no. Something. So I just had an icky feeling. I, I suppose it's also because playing the game, obviously, you're like something's going to go wrong. Something's going to go wrong. Something's going to yeah. go wrong, and you're just waiting it. But this is yeah. wrong. Here it is. This. Where's it going to be? You know, see this people sitting at a table. It's like. No, nah, it's not them. They're not going to do yeah. it. You know, meet up with Brody inside. No, nah, he seems right. It's not going to be him. Talk to the lady at the counter. Maybe. You know, like, <laughs> maybe she's got a, uh, maybe she's got a dark side. We don't know. We don't know what's going to go. Um, so there are a few things, uh, about the, like in the store that you can do. You can talk yeah. to Brody. You can choose what stuff you're going to buy. Although ultimately, I don't know what, I don't know what you choose to buy matters. It does. Um, the food side doesn't matter, but if you buy the sleeping bag or the camping gear, you keep that. Okay. Yeah. Cause I brought the, I brought a sleeping bag. So did I. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I was trying and to, be, I bought a loaf of bread and fucking baked beans. I thought, Oh yeah, this is going to last me for ages. Like this is going to last yeah. me like a couple of days. I won't have to worry about food for a while. And then they sit down at the picnic table and we'll fucking eat it all. I was like, what the fuck? Why did I just waste all my money? <laughs> yeah, I was trying to be real smart. With my, well, I'll, I'll say, I was trying to be real smart with my money up to a point. Because yeah. I was like, couple bread, you know, bread, you sk yeah. water, you know, I'm skipping soft drink, I'm skipping chips, you know, I'm, I'm skipping. Brought him the one chocolate bar because I'm yeah. a good older brother, you know, got him his chocolate <laughs> whatever thing. And then I s wasted $2 on the fucking... Yeah, I did it once, but it was like, when you didn't get it, it was like, no, you're not having it again. Yeah, I was <laughs> like, why is it $2 on the fucking claw machine? And I presume that would have been a collectible, um, and I thought um, I'd have to come back and do it later. It's not. Yeah, no. It's not. It's just the extra thing. Although I believe if you got it, it would 
possibly be something he carries around, you'd think. Yeah, or. I think it is. So it's like, it's weird. It's like a collectible that you can probably put on your bag, but at the same yeah. time, it's not an official collectible. I was like, okay, sure. Um, so another scene I think this game gets right that I could 100% believe to be a, a thing that could happen is the scene that plays out with Hank while they're eating at mm. the at the table. Definitely. Because you, you, you can... And I've seen, not to the extent that that happens, but I've seen things like this happen. Yeah. Where you can tell people are questioning people because of, you know, their colour or their yeah. what, whatever. I Obviously, it, it's not gone the, the route that this fully goes, but when that scene played out, I just got so angry. Well, yeah. even if you don't believe it, the racism, like, you see dickhead adults act like that towards children regardless. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. It just yeah. it, it, uh, exasperated because of the racial tension. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, I've, I've even, even as a kid, you yeah. Know, do you steal that? Yeah. Fuck off. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> just walk away kind of thing. But they, they kind of got fucked here. So, yeah, they're, they're outside eating, or I, I, there might be other choices where you're not outside eating. Maybe just chilling yeah. on the table, I suppose. But either way, I presume Hank shows up, which is the husband of the the, the nice yeah. lady. Who yeah, I thought you. she was all right. Yeah, that's it. That's she gave a me thing. free key change. She bloody yeah. yeah. She seemed nice. She was talking to you, having a having a great time. But then, oh, did, before we go, did you notice the um, when you talk to her and there's the picture on the wall with the husband and David Lynch? Or the oh, really? David Lynch. Yeah. Oh, that like, oh yeah, the director came up here and he filmed a TV series. It was kind of oh, weird. I didn't get into it. Okay, I didn't get that. Yeah, I looked at the picture. But then I didn't. Re I was like trying to work out who it was, and then I was like, no, I can't actually yeah. work out who. Especially it is, when so. it's meant to be a major influence on it too. <sighs> yeah, well, that that that, that actually makes one hundred percent sense. Um, <laughs> so outside, Hank shows up. You know, did you buy that? Yes. Yeah. Uh, we come. I don't believe you. Yeah, I don't believe you. Come in to find it. No, just leave us alone. Go. We, we, just, uh, I and uh, have it. Fuck you. I'll smash you over the face. Yeah, I, I thought. He was going to drag me inside and the woman was good because I bought it. She's like, oh, yeah, no, they bought it. They're fine. Yeah, that's what and I was going to let go. I was like, oh, yeah. it was like, walk inside and she'll be like, no, they brought it. But then I feel like even if she said that, he'd be like, well, they've done something probably. Well, well no, he recognizes them from the article. Like, that's, oh, that's the whole true. Reason. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah, that um, was just on oh, no, a pretense for him to carry on like an idiot. Idiot, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, no, it's like, if you didn't get any of the subtle or less than subtle references that this game is basically Trump's America yeah. the game, that this is this is the point where it's like, did you get what this game is about now? Yeah, exactly. Because that's what that's what's happening here. So, um, <laughs> they get locked up, or uh, Sean gets locked up, and th this scene is quite yeah, you know, uh, dark. No, Sean runs away. No, Sean's the Daniel's the. Daniel's the kid. Oh, sorry. Yes, sorry. Yeah. You're right. So Sh Sean get Sean gets locked away. Daniel yeah. Daniel runs away, and Sean, you know, the, it, it is a dark scene when you've got the, you're, yeah. you're trained up as a sixteen year old. I think he's sixteen or seventeen or something. He's not eighteen. No. I think he's like sixteen. Um, you anyway you're trained up as a teenage kid with obviously a racist dude tra training yeah. you up, and he literally says the line, "This is why we need to build the wall." Yeah. So it's like, what are you referencing? Yeah, you got it's, you got all these all these things happening. It's 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 very dark and and scary scenes it's, mm. for a kid in general, but I suppose especially for uh, someone like Daniel and Sean. And then obviously Daniel's running around outside when uh, when the he leaves to go find him. Hank leaves to go find him, and sean's stuck in there and daniel eventually shows up and you, you can tell that i, I quite like the voice acting because you can tell like the kid the, the kid playing daniel or not kid i actually haven't looked up if it's actually a kid um does a really good job i feel of you know portraying the i'm really fucking scared but at the same time i know yeah. i have to not try and be not scared to help my older brother here i i can't the the, the points are really great but there are other points i remember going oh yeah this could have been better with the voice acting well, I I often find with stuff, it's like, 
it's recording time and yeah. the, the person in the booth or the person directing them in the booth has to eventually say, oh, we've only got two, ca- two takes of this. Yeah. And even if you're a really great actor, sometimes it takes you four or five takes yeah, to get, exactly. to get there. So, and it, if you don't have all day or multiple days or weeks to get these lines, right. Sometimes yeah. it's like, well, we spent 10 takes on that line before now you've got one go. Just knock yeah. it out. And that's what that's how you end up with some crappy lines, I feel. Um so yeah, I, I found this this scene to play out rather intense as well, because obviously was, the whole yeah. time you're wondering if he's gonna I was half expecting to get scooped up outside. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm like, he's I'm like, if I take too long here, yeah. is he just gonna get scooped up and rushed yeah. away? Or like we both get locked up. Like uh, obviously when you're playing a game like this, you don't know how the choices are gonna unfold. Yeah, there, there's, there's no fail state in Life is Strange, is there? No, there's no, like you die, reload. No, not yeah. the, well. There definitely wasn't in the first one. And what? Well, I suppose the main thing in the first one was there was no fail state because you rewind. Yeah, because time. you can rewind. Yeah. <laughs> so even if you enter the scenario where you would die, it's like well, rewind time. So this is a bit yeah. different, but um, so you, Daniel, I got stucky. I'll admit, I was being very silly. For yeah. a, a good five minutes, I'm like, I have no idea what I'm yeah, the, doing. Yeah, a lot of time I was like, what do I do? I was like, what? Because I was swinging the camera around, there was nothing yep. to interact with. And... That, that's what I was doing. I was like, I've yeah. interacted with everything. Oh, I can shimmy on the pole. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'd never even thought. Like, I'm just there with my right analog stick, like, looking around yeah. the room. Never thought once that. And I kept looking on the pipe. Like, once you've interacted with the stuff, when it shows up on the pipe and says, whatever it says on it, like yeah. pull the pipe away or whatever. I'm like, yeah, I'd like to, like, yeah. <laughs> I would like to do that. But then, <laughs> yeah, eventually I was just like, whatever my brain was like, press the, the stick and he started like shimmying across. I was like, yeah, yeah that's my bad. Whoops. Bit silly. Um, so you go down there, get the keys, smash the keys out. Daniel comes inside. Yeah. And then good old Hank. Was it Hank? Bus, yeah. Oh, whatever his name was. Racist um, man. Yeah, we've got a racist name. <laughs> racist man shows back up, of course, in the nick of time. And uh, I knocked the shit out of him and <laughs> got the fuck out. And yeah. you, 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 run, you run outside, meet up Brody, who's yeah. like the, the coolest character in this first episode, possibly. He's like, no worry, dudes. <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't fully sold on him being a force of good. Never was I, I was, at first because I was half expecting him to turn out to be like some kind of pedophile or something. Mm-hmm. Like that. There's always something, and you're like, yeah. Especially with games like this, they just sometimes they like to make shit more fucked up for yeah. the sake of making it more. Fucked or he's gonna up, be I like, or turn out to be some sort of insult dude or something like that. Something, yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, he's just like, oh yeah, the racist dude. Yeah, he seemed pretty off. Right, get in the car, let's go. Yeah. Either way, it's like, well, at least we. Even if he was bad, it's like we're away from one bad guy yeah. to another bad guy, and we'll, we'll try and get away from this bad guy. Um. Let's go over this. The go over the choices for bear station. So, you could have sent Daniel to beg for food from the the visitors sitting at the the table. Oh, we didn't. We didn't uh, for the forest. Did you steal the chocolate bar? Oh, sorry, I forgot there was even one there. Um, I did not steal the chocolate bar. Neither did I. No, because I was like, that's not going to go well for someone in the car. Yeah. Yeah. So fuck that. Uh, so you could have, yeah, beg the people for food, beg, made Daniel beg, beg yourself, or didn't beg at all. I begged myself. Oh, really? I didn't beg at yeah. all? Yeah. No. Well, I was thinking, oh, fuck, can I save some money here? Yeah. Did, would you get anything out of it? How's it? No, they go, because they're from, like, California or something. I was like, oh, this is the reason we left LA or something like that. And he was, like, the woman was kind of sympathetic. The dad was like... Oh, I'm not fucking giving beggars food. And then, like, the kid was just on a phone, like, carrying on. Yeah, I, I, I kind of walked around them and surveyed yeah. <laughs> what type of people they were and went, no, they're yeah. not going to give me shit. Because you can eavesdrop in their conversation, obviously, and, like, listening to them talk about whatever they was on about. I was like, yeah, no, this is not going to. We ended up getting well. an apple from the garbage bin. Oh, uh, an apple. Did you eat it? I picked it up and yeah. it was like, no, bye. You gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I even had a choice to keep it. No, well, I had a choice. Like they left after I'd gone inside and bought something. They had left a corner in the bin, and then when they sat down, ate the food. The apple was there as well. Okay, right. Yeah. <laughs> um. So then you also had you could you stole from the gas station. You stole while Daniel distracted, or you didn't yeah. steal anything. 
I didn't steal anything. I didn't steal anything. So I figured as soon as I steal something, it's going to draw attention. Either the cops are going to get called and something like yeah. that. So. I, at this stage when I'm playing the game, I'm because we don't know where the games are going, obviously. Yeah. I'm, we're, we're in a store buying stuff. So my mind's yeah. like, we're going to be continuing on this. And the episode's called Road. So I'm like, yeah. we're going to be continuing on this this day tripping stuff. I'm like, yeah. if further in the game, we get to a stage where I'm out of money and I need something. Yeah, it'll probably supply, get a die straight later on. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. then I will get to stealing. But as for now, mm. I have the money. I can buy supplies like my bread yeah. and my water and what whatever else, the the, the good stuff to buy. And I'll, I'll You didn't even that. have to buy the water. You could have filled your water bottle up in the toilets. Oh, really? Save a couple bucks. Yeah. Too good. I gotta have that Mount Franklin. Mount Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> um, then the last one was you hit Hank and stole the camping gear, or you just ran away with Daniel. I just ran away. I was considering doing it, but I thought it'd be get tied up and get caught up again. Oh really? No, I yeah. I, I hit him and stole that shit yeah. because obviously, as a with everything I just said, that got thrown out the window when you're kidnapped by a racist. You know, yeah. at, at this point, it's he kidnapped me horrible shit beat me up fuck yeah. you kick to the face and took that took that camping gear but i feel like you made the better choice because the problem i have to deal with later in this episode is yeah, daniel. Like you got another charge on you or something like that no 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 just daniel like it, uh, he's like when we get to the hotel later i had a whole yeah. conversation about it's okay to steal he's like you stole yeah you know do we beat people up now no we don't do it. when do we steal well, yeah. that was a different case he's like well When's it okay to steal? And he, yeah. I'm like, well, it's never okay to steal. He's like, but you stole. Exactly. So it's like, yeah. these are the conversations depending on choices you make throughout the, yeah. the game that you're going to be getting into die straight to Daniel with, I feel. So it's that's that's the kind of direction the game's going, you can tell. All right, so let's move on to the uh, car. There's the more car. choices. Oh, really? No, the car. Well, the next one I had was the car ride. No, there's the Daniel ones. Daniel learned about trailblazing. Daniel didn't. Fall in the woods. I didn't have those. Did you? Yeah. I had six pages of choices. Oh, you made choices I didn't even have then. That's weird. Okay, so I'll go through them all. The first one's about the woods. It's like Daniel learned about trailblazing or Daniel didn't learn about trailblazing. Mm. Um, the next one was Daniel didn't. Uh, those first are choices, but more like what happened to Daniel. Uh, Daniel didn't fall in the woods. Daniel fell and got dirty. Daniel built a fort in the forest. Daniel fetched wood. Daniel won the wood race. Daniel lost the wood race. Daniel didn't do the wood race. Uh, Daniel learned how to skip rocks. Daniel didn't learn how to skip rocks. Um, Daniel was mad at you in the woods. Daniel didn't get mad. Daniel had an AK night. Daniel got sick from the berries. Daniel was afraid of stories and had nightmares. Daniel had to beg for food. Daniel didn't have to beg for food. Daniel distracted Doris. Doris, Daniel didn't distract Doris. And Daniel had enough to eat, and Daniel didn't have enough to eat. I don't yeah, it's not that you didn't get them. Maybe, maybe. Oh, and Daniel another one. Um, Daniel got the power, boy to power Bear toy. Daniel didn't get a Power Bear toy. And then Daniel stole some. Oh, Daniel stole something from Brody. Daniel didn't steal anything. Yeah, so that's kind of. I didn't like... get the option to steal from Brody. No, you don't get a choice, I think. It just either happens. Oh, I suppose if you steal... Did Daniel steal anything for you? He does steal something. Okay, yeah. so if you steal the Kimmy gear, he goes, oh, okay. Yeah. He steals something, yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So in the the next scene we have is called US 101, which... Yeah, uh, it's the right, highway or something like yeah, that. Yeah, the highway, which is the, yeah. the car ride. And the car ride's just a rather short scene, but, you know, introduces you to Brody and gets you to either... To be like... He's fine. Don't yeah. freak out. He's fine. You're safe yeah. for now. Get you into a, a bit of an introduction for him. Yeah. And after the entire scene you just had, that's, you know, very action packed, eventful, mm. uh, scary, dark stuff. It's kind of nice to be just in this car of this, this, this dude who's, you know, he seems, he seems pretty cool. You know, he just seems like a cool, uh, yeah. a cool dude. He's, he's sure awesome. are, yeah. If they made it into a movie, it's Seth Rogen, I feel, playing with the dude. But <laughs> exactly, it's a very Seth rogen type character. It's like, yeah, it's like a Seth Rogen. He's like, nah, dudes, come on, you know, I'll fucking smoke weed. No, you know, yeah. you have stuff, it's, it's fine. Um, and then the, I suppose the biggest thing that happens in this scene is you do find out that, um, well, I mean, look, Daniel stole something from Brody in my game, but before this, he what also steals steal? a dog. 
That's true. He does steal a dog. Do, they don't point that out as a, a as a thing, but really, he rescued the dog. Yeah. Well, I suppose that's the way they word it. But really, he stole the dog. <laughs> he stole they were giving it away for free. Oh, were they? I thought yeah, they were because to... yeah, the puppy. Because when you talk to Doris about it, she goes, "Oh, someone abandoned him." Um, if I called who did that, it, he wouldn't, I don't know, walk in or something like that. And he goes, oh, we're giving him away for free to whoever takes him. And then Daniel asks if he can have him and I'll go, and then you say, well, you have a choice to say yes or no. And I say, no, he just, I don't know, he couldn't have it anyway. We're only giving it away to adults or someone or responsible oh, people. okay. Right. Yeah. Well, got it now. Um, and then the other thing I like that happens, well, A, the dog's very cute. And I made I made a note later from the beach scene that I felt I feel like the dog is animated very well. I feel the opposite. Really, I when it was running on the beach, it was very stiff legged. Oh, really? I feel like dogs are something that they often fuck up in games for whatever reason, oh, especially yeah, if animals probably. aren't the main focus, like a hunting game or you know whatever. Yeah. It's like dogs, animals of any kind are just yeah. hard. To, they just half ass the animation of them. But I feel it's, like that. I thought it was all right, especially. If- I mean, it was serviceable. Yeah, like I, I didn't go, oh, this is terrible, but I just thought it was very uh, stiff legged at the time. All right. Well, at least it wasn't bad. <laughs> at least we can both agree it wasn't bad. Yeah, no, bad. no, it wasn't bad. Um, and then the other line that I think is stand out from the car ride is where uh, Brady introduces everything. You know, he says, this is what I do, political, yeah. blah, blah, blah. And then Sean has the line where he says, oh, so you're like all political. And then yeah. Brody turns to him and says, everything's political, dude. Which, yeah. as far as I'm concerned, until someone from the dev team tells me wrong, is them turning to the camera saying, for everyone who's out there saying games should be political and complain, complain, you know, any of that garbage, mm. they're like, everything's political. You yeah. know, like that's their big, that's their big subtitle of what, the game is, you, yeah, you know, the statement they're making, that's the statement you know. they're making in, in the game. I feel very much felt like that. That was a line. That was a line. Not, not so much for Sean, but it was more for, yeah. you, Hey, you playing the game that this yeah. line is from, very from, nice. from us. Yeah. Very yeah. Nice. Um, and then the, the next thing we have to, uh, uh, next thing we have, uh, oh my God words. Next thing we have <laughs> after this is called jewel of the Pacific coast. So at the start of the game, you get asked a question, did I can't remember how it was exactly word now, but it's basically oh, it's like, did, you, did you bay or bay? <laughs> yeah, it's like, us. basically, it's like, did you choose to say, uh, did you choose Max and Chloe, or did yeah. you choose to sacrifice Chloe? Is is yeah. the the big choice from the first season of Life is Strange? What did you choose? I st- I stayed with Chloe. I blew the fuck up out of Katie. Now I saved the bay. Okay, really? So yeah, our yeah. scenes are going to be very different and <laughs> what's playing on our, the video version of this show is going to be a lot different than what Nick got. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, you get to uh, where Acadia Bay is. Well, well, you're at the top of a, a cliff overlooking Arcadia yeah. Bay. And yeah, if you're watching the video version at the moment or if you're listening to the audio one, look up the video version just to see what it looks like, I suppose. But yeah, it is... I mean, it's gone. The Arcadia Bay is non-existent. And you, yeah. you, you can kind of see off in the distance where, you know, the lighthouse is and like the shape of the city and everything. You, you, yeah. My mind's going, that's Arcadia Bay. I remember yeah. seeing that city. I remember seeing, because from where this angle is, from this cliff, I feel like that must be where the camera kind of sits for the, the opening, you know, the oh, menu. Oh, yeah, yeah. When you're in the, to- uh, the, the title menu. screen. Yeah, yeah. I feel like this is where the camera would roughly sit, somewhere yeah. where we are now. That's kind of where it's overlooking the city. And look, picturing that in my mind and then picturing, and then, well, not picturing, and then seeing what I had in front of me in the game, I'm like, yep, that's uh, that's an entire town I uh, sacrificed. <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, a lot of people dead. So yep. there's a um, there's a plaque there also, yep. you know, of course, which makes sense if an event like this happened that, you know, I can't remember yep. exactly what it says, but it's, you know, for all the, those lost in the, the horrific event or yeah. something along those lines, you can kind of, kind of make out on it. Um, this is obviously the, the big, unless there is more further in the season, but that is something I'll ask you in a second, but this is the big tie in, I suppose. That's like, yes, even though this yeah. game isn't the same characters or spin off of the characters that you met in the first season, this game is in the same world as the first life is strange. Yeah. It may or may not ever tie in to those other characters and events or anything. I don't think it will personally. I don't, I honestly don't think it has to no. just, just the fact that they, it's a statement to say it's in the same universe. That's all mm-hmm. that needs to happen. It is 
yeah, it's it's like this scene. Although, well, here's the thing: they get they do this really well. I feel because they ask you that question at the start of the game when you click go, and I'm like, oh, really? Yeah. Mm. Like, where's that? Where, where's that leading us th this question? Because you, you have to wonder if it pays off by the end of the season or like background <laughs> information, newspapers, radios. You know, like I, I think they could have. I don't know. It's fine for us who've played it before. What if this is where people are jumping in and go? What am I choosing? There's no explanation for the choice for new players. I suppose you just YOLO pick one and yeah. one and whatever. And I mean, the, the I suppose the thing is, if it isn't going to make any difference, what cho choice you make in the long run yeah. uh, as a new player, if, if it's never going to tie in and bring Max Chloe or Arcadia Bay back into the picture in, yeah. in any way, shape, or form, then it doesn't really matter what what you click. I suppose it is just for the for those playing the game that have played the first season. Yeah, I, suppose. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Um, but I feel like they do this really smartly this scene because they get to do a little bit of fan service and say, yes, it's tied in. Here you yeah. go. Here's what your Arcadia Bay from the first season looks like. We don't need to read your save. Doesn't yeah. fucking matter. Just answer the one question that's actually important. Yeah. But then they use it as a place to have an important emotional scene for, for Daniel, which yeah. that which I feel like was ha the way to handle it really smartly because they're like, well, we want to have this emotional scene and they could have had this emotional scene in the car ride and then gone straight from here to the beach in the hotel. But yeah. they stop off do a little bit of fan service, but it's not too on the nose or doesn't really yeah. make sense. Like it makes sense. You're like, oh, they just happen to stop there. Yeah. Sure. You can buy that. Right you can, on. you can buy that. They happen to just stop there, yeah. I suppose, you know, and for all you know, they drive along and he's like, ah, oh, I want to stop and see, see Arcadia Bay because it's pretty yeah. city. Or in my version, Hey, I want to stop there and see that city. That's <laughs> got wiped off the face yeah. of the earth. So, um, but yeah, do you, do you reckon, do you just reckon straight up, no, we'll never no. see any tiebacks whatsoever. No. Yeah. No, I, 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 I've seen some people suggesting some kind of like fucking Life is Strange Avengers team with Max and yeah. the kid and like, and nah, that doesn't fit. Well, it's the only way it works in both timelines, in your timeline and my timeline is, mm. would be if Max is there. Obviously our timelines yeah. can't meet up because Chloe's gone in yours. Yeah. Chloe exists in mine, but... Yeah. There was a slight part of me, you know, the, the, the cool moment of seeing the city and going, I killed all those people. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> for love, though. For love. Uh, the cool moment of seeing the destroyed city was basically just being like, okay, that's, you know, this is yeah. how many years later I'm like, Chloe and Max are out there somewhere, you know? Yeah. Just, just kind of having that, knowing that, that scene, because it ends on a cliffhanger, obviously, the yeah. first season. You make that decision, and then in my version, you, I think they just sit on the the bench and hug or kiss or something like that, and then you see, like, the storm coming in, and then it, like, yeah. cuts to credits, basically. You never see it I, I play out. I think they end up driving away. All right, okay. Like, uh, yeah, it's been so long, I fucking remember, but it, it doesn't, like, show you the... The outcome of... No, the, it doesn't show you the destruction. The, yeah, it doesn't show you the destruction, so... It's like, you see this play out, it's like, okay, there you go. Um, so yeah, I, I don't think they'll show up again. I, uh, if anything, a little bit more fan service with a, a random like, Easter egg newspaper article. Yeah, or, yeah, or you're reading a Brady's blog and he does something. something like, like, oh, something happened. With the only the survivor or, of, yeah. my interview of the only survivors of Arcadia Bay, uh, yeah. Max and Chloe, or, yeah. I can accept that. Cause obviously yeah. if they, the only two people to survive such a weird event Yes, people would want to interview them and talk to them. That does make sense. So you can get away with an Easter egg like that, but yeah, I don't. I don't think it makes sense to bring bring those characters back. It doesn't make sense for the, where I see the story going either. No, it, it doesn't. They look. How many seasons of Life is Strange? I want to do. If they're like this is the last season, and then they yeah. do a bonus episode where they literally go around like yeah. uh, and show you half an hour to an hour of where every character is at. Yeah. Sure. That's the only time I, I can like be like, okay, show me where Max and Chloe are in my version of the story. Show me all these other characters that we've experienced for how many seasons of Life is Strange we've done. Show me what's happening to them all. Um, the, yep. Sorry, the biggest reason I don't think they will do it is they'd have to do a version with Max and a version of Max and Chloe together, and I think they'd be too completely different and then be just too much work development-wise to do two well, different things. Let's say that they have a half hour, because I'm talking like 
It, 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 well, I don't know if you have watched Oh, no, skins, I'm, I'm but... talking as in this current season. Okay, this current season. Yeah, okay, yeah. that makes sense. I was about to say, if they did it as a bonus, oh, last, yeah, yeah, they the did last that. season of Life is Strange, they can have the episode you only control Max, and then yeah. you can have her either text Chloe or not text yeah. Chloe. You know, like yeah. simple yes, no things. Yeah. Like, don't even need a character model or, or anything yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. So I feel like that's possible easier. But, I mean, I'm thinking crazy last season. We're done yeah. with Life is Strange shenanigans. You're thinking but... when... Uh... Square Enix shut down, you only had half a season the last season. Of yeah, yeah. Life is <laughs> Strange. yeah. Yeah, someone comes in to finish it. Um, so then we go along to San Carlos, which is this uh, short but sweet scene between uh, Brody and everyone, I suppose, which is yeah. which is kind of cool. You get to you get to play with the dog for a hot two seconds. There is a collectible here, which I never got and wouldn't have found without someone showing oh, yeah. me on a YouTube video. You I, to- I've got it totally by mistake. I threw it in the grass, like, oh, really? threw it in the grass and you come back and I've got a collectible yeah like, oh, okay because <laughs> i threw it to the right side and it's yeah. like unless you throw it at that specific spot like off to the the signpost or whatever if you throw yeah. too far left you, you won't get it so it's such a random yeah fucking completely but, uh, I got it. but i was like okay sure what whatever so brady shows up uh he's like hey got your hotel for the night here's a new backpack here's a you know gift bag for you um hey daniel here's my bandana which he puts on the dog because he's like, dog wears it better, which he does. The dog does wear it better than I can see Daniel wearing it. Yeah. And then uh, was like, cool, well, peace out, love yous dudes, bye. <laughs> I, mean, I was going like, oh yeah, since I gave you a ride and all this money, you owe me something, come into the room with me. No, and was you really <laughs> thinking that still at this stage? No, no, but it wouldn't surprise me if they'd pulled something like that. Yeah, well, you know, I was, just, I was like, please don't make that be a thing. Um, the only thing that really I stands out to me here is is the dog in it the rest of the season mm, i it's, don't know it, 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 i think it kind of limits their options i know going that's how forward. i feel yeah like say you're in a tense situation where you're hiding out from someone you got a yeah. dog running around or something like that it's like yeah. yeah i don't know i think maybe along the road they see a family and like a little girl crying they leave a dog with it or something yeah well, Something like that. I, could, I I have to get rid of it because, yeah, yeah, same as you. I'm like, how does this dog come for a full fucking road trip? As much as I like the dog, but I'm like, yeah. it doesn't... Just, just it's unpractical. It doesn't seem practical at all. It doesn't really seem like yeah. any, like any sense. Um, and then the, do you reckon we will meet up with Brody again in the season, or do you reckon we'll possibly just have uh, email interactions? Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's him done. Like... There'll be like text messages in your phone or something like that, or maybe you get a burner phone and you call him for an update or find a computer, yeah. check his blog, email yeah. him, yeah. say, "Hey man, this is you know what's going on" or something, yeah. I suppose. But yeah, I, I don't think he's he's back. I feel yeah. like mate, I feel like the game for the season because it's like a road trip uh, yeah. season. Obviously, It'd they like- can do all these bump into characters, one episode, yeah. one done, one done, which makes sense for a yeah uh, road trip. Well, you think of road trip movies. How often do characters reoccur? Not often. It's like they bump into yeah. someone for 20, 20 minutes, half an hour, or something like yeah. that for a two and a half hour movie or whatever. And it's, yeah. hey, moving on, gone. Met you for that little small town or yeah. interaction we had. Um, and then we get into the uh, the ho- hotel room as we get yeah. towards the, the end of the game here. So the hotel room has two... Well, it's just, I don't know what happens, but there's obviously the really big emotional scene with Daniel yeah. at the end. But before then, I think the standout one is when you go outside with your phone. Yeah. Did you watch that entire thing through? Or throw your phone at, like quick, fast? I threw it. No, but like, did you watch the video that he's watching it all the way through? I don't recall. So probably not. Okay. Because he, he goes outside with his, his phone. And he, there's the, there's the choice to either, uh, like call or text her back yeah. or text or her not. back or whatever. Yeah. But then after that, he opens up and he starts watching uh, a video with his dad and Daniel and I think it's like a Christmas present or something. Oh like yeah, no, I definitely didn't see that. Oh really? Cause he starts, it's, it's terrible. He, he's fucking, he starts watching it. And of course he's watching this thinking in my mind, it's playing out yeah. as he started playing this video because it's a video of his family. It's a video of his dad, yeah. obviously. And he's about to destroy this device, which has yeah. video. His memory, his, like the only memories. Yeah. Of yeah, his dad. Guess, yeah. The only, the only memories that he has, pictures, uh, of, pictures of his dad and everything like that. It, it's like, 
the chucking the phone isn't oh fuck I can't check Facebook oh fuck I can't t- contact Lila it's I'm losing these uh, he should upload it to Google Drive <laughs> <laughs> he's losing these pictures uh, of his of his family I suppose yeah so I let the whole scene play out it gets worse and worse and worse because uh, you, at any point there's a button prompt on the screen like press X to phone phone or whatever yeah. But you can watch the whole video, which I did. And then as the scene plays along, it's like the tears more, more, yeah. more. He just builds and builds and builds. And then when the video stops playing, he's just like sitting there with these like tears, like streaming down his face. And I'm like, oh fuck, better throw the fucking phone. Yeah. Like <laughs> I can relate. I can, I can relate to that recently. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I think character wise, I just didn't want to like take away the, the moment, I guess. Like well, felt- I, I don't think I even got to a point where he started. Like, I just threw it straight away. That's so... <laughs> you seriously didn't even get the video? Oh, man. No, like, I don't... I don't recall getting in it at all. That's odd. Yeah, but it was... Yeah, I found that scene to be... Yeah, quite, quite yeah. emotional as he's, he's, he's sitting there watching that. And then... Obviously, you can go through the whole thing with Daniel in the bath. There's yeah. a few things you can interact with. You can you do give him a bubble bath. Yes, I gave him the bubble bath because I'm a good good older brother. Um, did the towel... Do you run bubble baths for your brother now? No. Maybe you should. <laughs> Maybe you should. Um, did all that sort of stuff. I didn't watch TV with him or any of that stuff. I just, oh, I, I watched it for a little him. bit. Yeah. Okay. Well, because I did the sketching, so I was like, look, I've done my... Yeah, I, I didn't even... No, no, you could. I've done my peaceful... And, of course, the thing they're watching is uh, Sausage Dog Man or whatever. Yeah, that mustard... Uh, dog dog man, which we know from Captain Spirit because it was yeah. the, the mobile game. And Daniel does ask to play the game on your phone yeah. and your camping and everything. So I was like, oh, these are all connections which yeah. we, we do have if you've played Captain. Yeah, it's Captain all the same Spirit. world. Yeah, it's all it's all good. And um, even though we don't see the kid, which I, I we'll talk about in a little bit, but I believe it's coming yeah. to, uh, episode two. Um, and then of course he asks for a drink, whatever. Go get a drink, and then all of a sudden he starts having meltdown. And the entire time I'm playing the hotel part, I'm like, something's going to go wrong here because you can yeah. tell. I'm like, it's been like nearly three hours, like something. Yeah, th- at this point I was like, I've been playing it all night. I'm ready to go to bed. Like, will this yeah. wrap up already? Something's like, going to happen. And you know something bad's going to happen as it heads towards the wrap up as well. So it's like we're yeah. in a hotel alone. What's it going to be? We just had these huge conversations with Brody about you got to tell me the truth. You got to tell me the truth. You know, yeah. blah blah blah. I'm like. It's a conversation. And because you, you, you come back inside from the throne thing, it's like, we've got to talk about this and you're jumping on the bed or whatever. Because that was the other thing. I'm, being, I'm outside fucking bowling my eyes out at this video of my dad. Yeah. And I turn around and he's blasting the TV, jumping up and down on the bed. Like, so come watch TV, come watch TV. And it's yeah. just like such a, like we're in different worlds. Like this kid's like, we're on a, we're on a holiday basically. Like, yeah. <laughs> and you're outside bowling your eyes out. Like, how do I Which, tell I still odd. Like, how old is he meant to be? He's like eight, maybe. I, in my mind, it, me as an eight year old, like, I think it's totally fucking strange to go walk for three days away from your home, <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, <laughs> wake up unconscious, and you're on the road somewhere. <laughs> yeah, but I, I mean, he questions it constantly, but yeah, I don't know, but it's you, just, you just feel that Sean the last couple of days was like, no, we're just, we're just, it's fine, Dad, we're just yeah. taking a trip, and he's like, like, is that something they regularly do? Like, like maybe they go hiking. No, so he does question like why are we go. Hi- he's not like why are we hiking in general. He's like yeah. why are we hiking now without yeah. dad. He's not like we never go hiking. Why are we doing? It's yeah. just like why are we hiking now? There's no yeah. one here. When's dad joining us? You know that you get a you do get a few weird questions. And he's just like yeah. oh, just shut up, kid. Like <laughs> <laughs> Let, let's go along. So yeah, we you outside get the drink. Obviously, shit starts. The powers activate. Yeah, he goes all the Yeah, he goes. Well, I was about to say, it reminded me of that the scene because he runs back in. Sean runs back in, and he's pushing backwards against like the fourth yeah. barrier. The stuff's going everywhere. Reminded me of that. <laughs> for some reason X Men Three came into my head. <laughs> Fucking Wolverine trying to get up to die. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Jean Grey on the 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 thing there, like how oh, to try and break through the thing, <laughs> be best friends. Yeah, but I mean, so what do you find? I can't. Oh, um, I fucking forgot now. What uh, I was in news. It was on the news. It was on the TV. Yeah, on the TV. Yeah, so he sees, he's flicking free TV, which as soon as I saw, I, I do remember thinking, fuck Sean, you was letting him watch TV, sure you would have, because yeah. cause he sees the paper in the, the station. He's like, I'll oh, hide Yeah, he hides it in, back into the newspaper thingy. Yeah, but for the TV ad, he's like, 
Uh, for the TV, he's like, nah, won't be anything yeah. on. It's fine. We're only on yeah. the front page of the fucking newspaper. <laughs> yeah. And just escaped it and beat the shit out of, in my version, beat the shit out of uh, some gas station attendant who I'm sure is yeah. going to say, hey, Mexicans robbed me. You know, like, <laughs> you know, that's what happened. So yeah, exactly. It's like, yeah. that's just adding to the, the rap sheet for the everyone after, after these for these two kids yeah. now. Um, so you fight along and, I mean, there's... I don't reckon there's, there's no way you can fuck this up. I mean, eventually there's, no, you, you can say two different choices, but it, it ends the yeah. same way, which is them obviously making up and hugging it out and being yeah. like, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I miss dad. Miss Bob, you know, back forward, very, yeah. you know, sad emotional scenes. They finally, uh, as Sean finally gets to tell his brother the, the truth of what's happened. And yeah. you can understand like the whole game when he's backwards and forwards, like, should I tell him? Yeah. You understand there was never a second of me being like, just fucking tell him, just get it over with. Cause yeah. you're like, you understand his fear of telling him. It's like younger oh, brother yeah. have to tell him his dad's dead. That is that yeah. something you want to, is There's that something you reason. want to do no. to anyone, let no. alone your, your younger brother. So, you know, even if it was someone else's dad or whatever, you would yeah. still wouldn't be the one breaking the news in any no. sort of case, especially younger brother. So I understood the, the situation fully, but yeah, so that, that that all plays out very well. So before getting to the um the final scene, that the, the choices here were you well, co- two. You yeah. called Lily you, oh I've been saying what no, I've been saying it right. You called Lila back or you didn't. I didn't. I didn't either. No. Even though I look, I see I believed her, but I think they'd be like tracing her calls or anything like that. That's what that's the reason I didn't do it, but I'm like, is yeah. this one of those choices where I could have made the other decision and it doesn't really matter because you know sometimes they play on your choices paranoia. as the yeah. paranoia as a player to make what what is actually the right choice but in reality yeah. you can make the wrong choice because the game's not going to punish you for yeah. it so i have to wonder if i could have made the other choice and just got away with it because they didn't well that played it. into my decision for the next choice okay yeah so the next choice yeah. was you promised you wouldn't lie to daniel again or you said you'll try to be honest yeah what'd you say try to be honest why did you say you'll try not? Because in my mind, I was like, oh, the game's going to fuck you here. You're going to have to end up having to lie to him at some point. You reckon they'll fuck you? I reckon there's going to be something like pretty horrific that you, you're you better off lying to him about. Oh, really? I, I said I promised I wouldn't lie again because I'm... Which, as far as I'm concerned, as a player, as long as the game lets me, yeah, I'm gonna keep you know yeah keep, keep, keep my word of i i did for a split second think about type of stuff you think it's like what if someone else you know something yeah. die happens i have to go lie and it, it's just like one of those decisions you're like well i just won't won't yeah. lie about it. i won't keep i won't keep a secret if, if something like that happens again i suppose um because yeah, toward the end of the game this is where i do start thinking about this whole superhero versus super villain thing especially because yeah. we just had that breakdown in the the hotel room where he's, yeah you, you could tell we're at a breaking point where he could any second kind of fling the uh, Sean backwards across the yeah. room and, you know, fucking kill him or like he did the, the cops. So, yeah. you know, we're at, we're at this stage where he's got powers. You can see when he gets emotional, he loses control of powers, mm. which is what happened in the first place. Obviously his dad got shot, blast. He didn't have no control of that, blast the cop and everyone else back. And that's why the, the cop dies. So now we have another emotional scene where he's losing control of his emotions, which is fine. Cause he's a, you know, he's a young kid. How's he mm. supposed to c- control his emotions, especially hearing his father's died? Um, yeah. uh, which is we- weird how he blanks it out the first time anyway, but I suppose that's all just first time using the powers. I suppose to just get away of it. How, you know, yeah. just blacked out using him, I suppose. Whatever. It's typical yeah. kind of superhero. Trauma on the trauma. Trauma. Or something like that. Yeah, something. So. But yeah, this is where it's like, okay, you can see where he can go yeah. if he loses control. And he, and he goes kind of down the dark side. So yeah, that's, yeah. that's the reason I was like, I will promise to tell you the, the truth. Cause you, it's, yeah. I'm like a superhero, super villain in training here. We're, yeah. We've got to, we've got to go somewhere. Uh, anything else here before we move on to the final scene and theories and stuff for the second episode? Uh, oh, I've got a theory for the whole thing in general, but I'll save it for then. Okay. So the, the episode kind of just wraps up with, they, they head off to the bus, sitting on a bus. 
Yeah. Uh, just talking about where they're going to go. Their plan is to get to their, I can't remember the name of the city, but their, their plan is to get to their dad's home. City. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Something. something. I could have yeah. looked it up, but I bad at sh- hosting this show. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's somewhere uh, across the border though. It's, yeah. it's, it's the point. Yeah. Um, so they're on a bus. I don't know where the bus is stopping though. Did I miss that? Did I miss like how far the, the bus, this particular bus remember. is taking them? Yeah. You have to wonder, something has to go wrong, right? Because a bus stops at the bus station and usually if you want to go further, you can get on a different bus that takes you yeah. or something like that. So it's like, we're not chaining bus rides here. We are actually stopping and getting back yeah. on our feet to do walking at some point. Is that because we have lack of funds? Is that because we get kicked off the bus? You know? Or I can, I don't know, like you stop at a bus station, get out to get a drink or something, and then there's cops hanging around because they've seen someone in your description and you have to run off somewhere or something. Yeah, like that, that would, yeah, something simple like that just yeah. to have them have to hit the road in some yeah. degree. So, um, my question are, as they get off the bus next episode, what do you think is going to happen? Which I think you've kind of just answered. And then we've got the teaser of Daniel learning his powers from at the end of this episode, we see that little tease, you know, here's Sean saying, just concentrate or something along those yeah. lines and the, the rock starts hovering, which to me looked like uh, the kind of scene which would tie into Captain Spirit, Strange, type, yeah. Captain Strange um, thing happening there. So, yeah. It, it, the kids at the end of Captain Strange are watching fall out of the tree. Are they, is that, that's not Daniel and Sean, is it? That's what the theory is. Do you ever get a good look at them? Not really. No, you can't really see him because he's he's. Uh, I have I maybe I can go back and look. I I, yeah. I I feel like I didn't think you got a good look I, at them, but I feel like that's what they're employing. Like yeah, that. yeah. That, I feel like that's what. And there was that whole theory before the, the first trailer for this Life is Strange show even came out. The people were like hacked into the files and were like, there was a character named Daniel and Sean like in the yeah. back the game files. And everyone was like, that's who this this the stars of Life is Strange yeah. 2 are going to be and the neighbor's kids and then the neighbors yeah. of him and then the reason he floats, he doesn't actually have powers and then basically all of that makes sense apart from the they're not actually neighbors part which, you know, forgive yeah. them for assuming they're actually the neighbors, of course. So Yeah, I guess because you don't actually see them coming out of the house. They're kind of just walking along, I guess. Yeah, they, they could... Through someone's backyard for some reason. Yeah, or in the backyard yeah. for whatever reason, but... Yeah, yeah. They're, they're just sitting there staring or whatever. Yeah, you so just assume it's the neighbors, yeah. Yeah, so... So maybe it's not the kid that has the powers, it's Daniel yeah. stopping him. From stopping him. Yeah. Yeah. Which, if, if episode two is kind of going to be a more training and learning to control... Because yeah. that's what I'm saying, like, the, the first episode it's barely touches... On so. Yeah, the, the first episode barely touches on the power stuff, which I yeah. I didn't have a problem with because I, I was saying are. before it it makes sense given the trauma and everything that's happened. Yeah. However, that by the end of the first episode, they have tackled that big uh, rock, which was Sean confronting Daniel, saying this is what happened, Dad's dead, yeah. and dealing yeah. with that whole thing. They didn't drag that along as a season long thing that was going to be the big like what happens yeah. when he tells him. It's like, well, that's solved. They're kind yeah. of, well, they're not at peace, but they're at peace with each other. They un- have an understanding yeah. of, they both now have an understanding of what they're doing, what's going on. Yeah, so now as we come so, into yeah. the second episode, we can say, what the fuck's up with them powers? You yeah. Know? Like, what? <laughs> what's going on over there? What, what exactly are we doing with, with those? Yeah. Um, which they, they obviously tease in the, in the thing. So I suppose if we're going to have them get off the bus, I, I'm kind of, Whatever route you you were saying before, I don't know if that's exactly how it's going to be. You know, there's cops yeah. there. Someone on the, on the bus could even just be like staring at them weird or something. Yeah. And then Sean's like, "No, yeah, we got to go. This we got to go. Up. This yeah. is this is yeah. just a bit too odd." So I reckon something like that happens that leaves them to get off in whatever town. I can't remember uh, the city where Captain Strange takes place, but yeah, I don't that, remember that little town. We're going to presume they get off in that little town, walk around a bit, start just working out their plan to possibly get travel again on in a different way to get yeah. back on their journey. And then along the way, just be like, oh, fuck, we'll stay over here for the night. We'll make camp somewhere, start practicing yeah. the powers, um, end up in the, the backyard. They could have been sleeping in the woods behind the house or something like that. Yeah, they could have, yeah. yeah. Like where, the, yeah, because C- Captain... He has old woods behind his house there, doesn't he? From I believe so, yeah. From yeah it's, like, it's like a little yeah. bit of a fence or something like that, maybe. Yeah, but then it's just all like woods and stuff. Yeah. yeah, so that that would make sense. And the the rock teaser that we see kind of looks like it's at top of a hill or something like that, yeah. even. So it's like maybe they're up there fucking around the rock. 
they Sweet. start making their way downhill and just so happens when they come down there there's a kid falling from a treehouse and yeah. they stop him um do you think that their interaction with uh that kid i can't remember his actual name now but do you reckon that that their interaction with that kid is just you know a little bit of a it's not fan service it's just like hey that thing was part of this they have a little bit of a conversation, but then yeah, move on. I, I think it has to play into it somehow. Like there has to be some sort of interaction. Otherwise, then what was the point of Cap, uh, Captain Spirit? It was like a demo of the tech, I suppose. Really. Yeah, but we it's, a, it's no different from how it played in Life is Strange, I guess. Well, like, it looks. Well, I mean, they do show off the conversation trees are a little bit different. Yeah, like your footprints show up in the snow and all these sorts of things, which is them going, "Hey, look!" It may look pretty much the same because it's the same art style and everything but graphically and subtle details yes uh this game is an improvement on the first one yeah so i, I think it's more a marketing tool and like it has it to tie in for people to, to for, for people to get something out of it otherwise like they'll be going what was the point of this yeah well i, I reckon it's going to tie in i just i just yeah. reckon maybe it's just a passing conversation it's, they, it's not like the kid suddenly comes with them yeah like come along come yeah. come for the journey the only thing I could see from that, and if they want to, when episodes two starts, is like read your save file for that in the background. Is the the only big choice from that Captain St Spirit thing, strange yeah. thing that came into play is you have the choice of when that woman knocks on your door and yeah. she's like, "Hey, are you alright?" or whatever. She can either walk away from that like, "Okay, well, uh, see you yeah. later," or she can walk away like, "I'm going to get someone," or "I'm going to call the cops," or yeah. something along those lines. Yeah. Which is when we meet up with him falling from the the tree True, or whatever yeah. if cops are showing up yeah that's now bad for you we yeah. now know that's bad when yeah. we was playing captain spirit yeah strange what the fuck i keep saying yeah, whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> whatever it's called when we was playing that and i think in my version she was like yeah okay i'll be i'm gonna go get my husband and we'll be back because she, she yeah. didn't trust what i was saying and i i was trying yeah, kind so of to yeah. subtly hint but not like get myself smacked over the back of the head yeah. the second I walk back inside. I was like, yeah, I'm fine. Like, yeah. don't send help, you know, kind of wink, wink, wink for the audio listeners. Um, which when you're playing that game, you're like, yes, cops come, mm. please, yes, someone. Yeah. But yeah, if, if we're going to meet up with that kid now and cops come, it's like, no, cops don't come. Leave that kid alone. Yeah. We're not playing with him anymore. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Let let his dad abuse him. Whatever. <laughs> like, yeah. It's fine. Um, yeah. So if the cops are showing up, that's, that's not a good one. So do you reckon, that, do you reckon they'll read there? The so far because that was a that is a choice like are they, they, they didn't read your life is strange one so far but are no. they gonna read that save file do you reckon i think it might be again like a the choice beginning, start. Like, choice yeah like or it, they just choose a canonical ending well that's that's the other thing right so if you never played the demo and they and you just boot in the episode it doesn't bring up anything they yeah. just have a, a a choice that happens and that's the one that happens but yeah. i would prefer them to say Hey, in the background, without even asking, if possible, just be like, hey, we picked up the save file and continue on from whatever choice you make. Because once again, it is like, why do I make that choice? Why do I play the game? Why do I, why do, I do these particular things if, if that's, you know, these problems are going to happen? Anything else you yeah. reckon? Is there anything else, anything else you reckon um, going to happen? It's in just the... a theory about the powers in general for yeah. this world. I think it's um, like they have latent powers in them, but a, a traumatic event triggers them yeah because like with max chloe got shot in front of her yeah yeah um with the kid obviously seeing dad. his dad shot and yeah. then whether the kid from the demo or not has powers is like living through domestic abuse i guess do you reckon he does do you reckon i don't know i i think it's going to turn out to be sean that does it yeah yeah but like whether he is or not it fits into the theory yeah well i mean yeah. if he does have powers then you're kind of expecting him to what join the group yeah i guess so hmm. especially with how it ended like he doesn't want to go and then i guess he doesn't want to live with his dad either because of how yeah. shitty he is yeah yeah well right if he has powers yeah then yes i'm yeah okay with him kind of joining the the, the merry party i guess yeah. to a to a degree even if he joins for a couple episodes and fine or just joins for this episode yeah and then has a kind of happy ending and sean and daniel on their merry way just happen to come into this kid's life and help him out for for, for the episode and there's no happy know. endings 
he'll probably get picked up by <laughs> authorities and taken straight back to his. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's a possibility. Uh, but if he doesn't have powers, I'm just I'm I'm happy with that one quick conversation or something yeah. like that. I don't need him to suddenly join up with the the crew solely because I played an hour of. Even if they yeah. don't have an interaction, yeah, like he stops him from dying from falling, and then they just fuck off. Yeah, or the, or just give him a look, just wink. Yeah, moves on. It's just, it's just something to tie it in. Yeah, just tie it yeah. in. Yeah, I'm I'm happy with that. I don't yeah. need any anything more than that. I'm yeah because yeah. as far as I'm concerned, even though I know it, we know it's going to tie in to some degree. Surely, I'm quite yeah. happy with that game. As, as it was for an hour for its own little experience. Because in an yeah. hour, it still managed to tell. And well, look, if you run through it and you rush through it, you don't get the proper story. And that's the thing about yeah. that. Like, but if you do explore and you look at, look for old elements, you do the get this, you get this story about yeah. his life, about his traumatic event the, and his history behind why he invented these villains. And, you know, yeah. it's like the crossroad of the street name where his, his mum crashed and died and all these, yeah. these sorts of things. It's like, this is a, for an hour. That game does a really good job of d dealing, yeah. showing this kid's imagination and dealing with his trauma and everything like that. It's a short so, story. Yeah, it's a short story, and I, I, I would love more games like that. Like, yeah, an hour or two of yeah, just snapshots. Snapshots. It's yeah. absolutely depressing shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just give me a snapshot. I've seen more tortured kids. <laughs> you listening? Don't know it. <laughs> <It's weird. laughs> Give us, fucks. <laughs> give us the more tortured kid shows, please. Uh, yeah, so I think that's it. Any any cl closing thoughts for the first episode of Life is Strange? No, I thought it was good. I'm very interested to see where they take it from here. Yeah. I'm, I'm really happy that the first episode was not yeah. slow. It, like, well, we said it slow at times, but at yeah. the same time, I'm glad they didn't dra like elements like dragging along yeah. his relationship with uh, his younger brother and like keeping that yeah. secret and dragging along these, these details like that. I, I kind of like how that's solved and where yeah. the plots are moving along. They didn't get dragged down in one area with, yeah. if this was a TV show, you know, they spend a season in that woods. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like the, the walking dead, <laughs> the walking dead. It's like the, they just sent the sense. Three seasons in a prison. <laughs> yep, that's the way you love all things. Um, so thank you for joining us. If you're watching on YouTube, Twitch, um, follow, subscribe, smash that bell button, all yeah, those ding, things. Ding, ding, ring, ding, ding, ding. If you'd prefer to listen via audio or you're listening like on audio, yeah, this podcast is on the Apple's. Yep. the other ones. <laughs> that's Stitches. <laughs> yeah, all, all the places, not Google, sorry. Um, they don't let you if you're not American. I tried to get a VPN to yeah. work and I couldn't get what? it to work. So that's a topic for another. Topic. That's a, that's a whole different thing. Yeah. But yeah, thank you for joining us. This is like uh, Beyond the Strange. Our life is strange. To after show, of course, we don't know when the, the next episode will be. It'll probably be in two months. It'll probably something. never get released. No, please don't do it to me again. <laughs> I can't handle it. Um, yeah, I mean, if I'm guessing, I would say next episode probably comes out this year. A month, month and a half. Yeah, yeah, probably, probably towards the end of November or December or something yeah. like that. We'd probably get the the next one. So, yeah, look, be sure to follow our twitters at Explosion Pod and check explosionnetwork.com. They will have when we will have the dates uh, for whenever we'll be streaming the next episode of this. Yep. So, if you've enjoyed or it, anything else we do, or anything else, that is also true. There are other things apart from <laughs> the other strange. That's a hundred. Coming out of woodwork every two months for a show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's all we do. We paid how many hundreds of dollars for a website so we can do a show every two months, <laughs> 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 worth every dollar. Um, but you can follow Nick on Twitter at Lord Empire. You, you can follow me on Twitter at Viva Ladil V I V A L A D I L. You can, yeah, as mentioned before, follow Explosion Pod at Explosion Pod. Until next time, have a strange, strange time. Bye-bye.